Hey YouTube, it's Gadaman here, and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about this big Discovery Operations Pack controversy, and after that, a little channel update. So for those of you unfamiliar with what's going on, there is a new pack coming out called the Discovery Operations Pack. The issue players have are as follows. The pack only contains four ships, two for the Federation and two for the Klingon Empire. Now this would be fine if the pack was, say, $40, but it's $120. Keep in mind the Gamma Vanguard pack is only $10 more at $130, and that pack comes with 10 ships, 7 of which are tier 6. So what does the Discovery Operations pack do to make up for this? Not a lot. So we get a ship costume with no estimated value, though I think it's cool, 10 Master Keys valued at $12.50, a BOF for each faction worth $5.50, and a combat pet that is a one-time unlock for one character, 2 XP boosts, 5 upgrades, 3 costumes worth an estimated $16.50, and some titles. So the issue a few days ago was that the boffs were also a one-time unlock, and due to backlash, this was changed. However, that still has not swayed people to change their minds and buy the pack. In my humble opinion, and note that I'm going to buy it regardless, is that they need to make the combat pet account wide. They should add the other Discovery error ship to the pack, the Europa, similarly to how they added the Dauntless to the Delta Operations pack, and make the upgrades ultimate tech upgrades. This would by far even out the price and make the cost much easier to swallow. If they also made the Walker class a leveling to 65 ship, that would even further sweeten the deal. To count for the starter pack, just make it a tier 6 ship only for those with the full discovery pack. I hope Cryptic sees this and gives the community more value for their money. Now for a quick channel update. Feel free to ignore this if you aren't subscribed to me or watch my content regularly. You may notice I have issues following through with the things I say I'm going to do. For instance, finishing the reviews for the Gamma Vanguard pack and doing the Winter Event Rewards Guide and Event Ship Review. The reason is, I don't have a lot of free time to make these videos. They take 6 hours to make at the least, and days at the most. And when you get just a handful of views on a video you've spent years planning and months creating, yeah, it's a bit discouraging. So I'll do my best to make the videos that I promised I would and more in the future, but I can't make any promises. Anyways, this is Gaudyman signing off. Have a good one. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, compliments, or complaints, please put them in the comments below. And as always, take care out there.